it definitely had times where I didn't enjoy it. I would say around the same age, like my, my teenage years where I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if this is worth it. I think my love for just playing tennis always kind of came back very quickly. It's kind of that weird thing where you're just slightly obsessed with it. And even though you don't always love it, you just kind of love the process of getting better and wanting to be better at something. I mean, every week it's the same, right? Like you start back up a tournament, you have to win your first round, your second round, your third round. So I think to me, I always just look at every week as like a new week, it's a new tournament, it's a new chance to have, you know, try and have another good result. It's always gonna be a long journey and there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs, but I think as long as you kind of accept that things are always gonna change and you can adapt and change your perspective and your mindset that you can always keep growing and stay in motion. my doggies. This is Tucker. He does bad stuff and he's not supposed to go in the pool. Maddie, come here. Maddie, come here. His Dexter. They all love to go swimming. Yep. Tucker's a lab, so he loves being in the water. And they actually all love to go swimming, and that's Maddie. And he will probably jump in. They're great, I have three dogs, love them so much. I mean, I think they just, everyone loves dogs because they're always happy to see you. It doesn't really matter what you've done that day or how you did on the court or what you've been dealing with, that they're always there to come home and greet you and they're super happy to see you. So I think they're just, I mean, they're like therapies. I love them. I love taking care of them. I love spending time with them. Oh, watch out. I would say by the time I was 10, I was kind of like, oh, I want to be number one in the world. It just starts kind of becoming a little bit more like a job, I guess, at a young age. What has been, would you say, the toughest moment mentally for you that you've really had to kind of work through? Um, definitely probably going through my hip surgery in 2017. Uh, that was like my last big injury, basically. I kind of got back my ranking, you know, into the top 150 and I was always on the cusp of like breaking into the top 100 and I could just felt like so far away. I could just never quite get there. I kind of went through this, a bad week right when I decided to have surgery where I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. You're trying to make the smallest gains. Like I remember picking up my leg, like I, I lost the feeling in my quad so I couldn't actually like do a leg lift. And you're sitting there as like a professional athlete going, okay, this is really bad. So I think you just, have this moment of doubts where you're trying to accomplish the smallest of tasks, and then you're thinking about how am I supposed to go out and be dominant in a sport when I'm doing something so small. It's sometimes it's hard to kind of keep going and stay positive about the process. The mental health journey was a lot of ups and downs, but once I was making more decisions about my coaches, my team, my training, that I just grew a lot from that whole process and definitely became more comfortable running my own career. Well, one thing I definitely did was uh, journal a lot. I definitely like to journal and kind of like jot down my, my thoughts. Um, to me, I don't know, it's therapeutic, like putting it on paper. The most rewarding thing I think is looking back and seeing all of the stuff I've written in the past and just seeing how far I've, I've come from those moments, especially when I was really, really young to see like a little girl, you know, dreaming about all these things. And then now going back and able to to see what I was thinking when I was seven, eight, nine years old to now is pretty amazing. I found a journal, like an entry that I wrote, like my body's gonna be able to hold up, like I'll see how this goes, but I feel really good and we'll see like how playing the year goes and it was, and I'm like, wow, that was like, I don't know, five, six years ago. So it was cool to see that it, my body did hold up <laughs> and that I've had success since then and that I, I stuck through that, but it's pretty cool when you read back and you see where your mindset was then and 
where you are now. Tennis is only, you know, a small part of your life. And I think you have to keep like a healthy mindset for the rest of your life because it's, that's just the way it is. Like you're not gonna be a top player for, you know, your whole life.